Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus, and in this short video, I want to show you how to create a Facebook ad. Now, I have shot a similar video like this, like two, three months ago. Don't really remember, but a lot has changed since then, and I want to do this quick update. So let's begin. To create an ad, let's go to Facebook slash advertising, and you will land on a similar page like this. Then click create an ad and you will br be brought to this page with a selection of uh, types of ads that you can create. So let's go quickly what every, every single one of them does. Page post engagement. You create a post on your fan page and you want to promote it. You will do a page post engagement ad. Want to improve the likes of your fan page? You will do a page like campaign. Want to promote your website, you will do clicks to your website. Want to promote your website again and know the conversion rate, you will do websites plus conversions. You want to promote your apps, you will do app installs and app engagement. Want to promote your events, you will create an event response ad. Want to promote an offer claim, you will do an offer claim ad want to get more video views you will pro you will do a video view ad now all of these are pretty much similar with just a few differences here and there so let's just do a, a quick clicks to website ad once you're here you need to choose the website that you want to promote let's choose the website that was already entered which is my website and you get to the ad ad management page so here you see the URL that we're going to be promoting and the first section is images there are several functions that you need to know about here first one you can upload images from your computer next you can browse the library the library is the images that you have previously used or you can then use stock images what is stock images it is a brand new function that you can use to find images to use in your ads. For example, you want to promote a marketing product and you want something marketing related, you just enter the word marketing and uh, Facebook searches Shutterstock for stock images. It will take a few moments to load them and here you can see this is a pretty neat image let's check that uh, when you see these images right here you can see the watermarks those will not show in the ads so don't worry so let's check a few ads a few images and click done so here you can see the images have been uploaded and the last function right here is to reposition images what does it do? So let's select this image and as you can see it doesn't fit perfectly into into the image so you can choose which place you want to show up in your ad. I like it this way so let's check done you can do this for every image that you do that you choose now if your image is in the right format you won't have that option so let's just check that and one image is still loading and we don't really care about that let's carry on so next what you see is the text and links this is the place to choose uh, your ads where you want to to advertise and this is where you want to write your ad so this is the headline then you need some text blah 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 call to action tra -la -la and also you need to choose uh, a fan page to connect to your ad this is necessary if you want to use the mobile newsfeed and the desktop newsfeed ads without this you won't be able to use these type of ads and that's like 70 percent of the advertising that's happening on Facebook so you need to create a fan page before you do any advertising Next you can see the call to action button, you can choose whatever you want, learn more, book now, whatever. And here you can see the button appear. Show advanced options. 
news feed link description so this is the description that would appear right here so let's just show you how it's done and here you can see it should appear now so here it is so what if you don't want to advertise on mobile newsfeed you just click remove and that's it you won't be advertising to mobile newsfeed maybe you don't want to write column then click remove maybe you suddenly decided that you want mobile newsfeed then you click add so that's that let's go to the other options first you can see the custom audiences the custom audiences is a file that has uh, the email addresses or the user IDs of Facebook accounts in a specific audience you can create that from your website for example you have a tracking code on your website and whenever someone visits um, your website it is put in that custom audience and you can then advertise to that person it is very very useful but it is one of these more advanced options that you have here next you need to choose the countries you want to advertise to uh, you can the main one will be the country you're at at the time and you find countries just by typing them in let's say United States United States United Kingdom and we'll do a quick add right here United Kingdom and you can choose whatever country you want you can also choose city state or just type in the zip address of bigger countries I think next there is the age range and you can choose whatever you want again based on your audience etc then you can choose a gender either all men or women next there is the language I think you if you are promoting an English a type of product you just enter English and type English all because even in United States there are people who don't speak English and you don't want to promote stuff to them most likely then there's the interests these are the types of stuff that people are liking in their newsfeed um, maybe they are fans of some type of group or a fan page and they have identified the, their selves as having interest in some specific option so maybe a person likes Harry Potter and you want to promote to to that person a similar type of book or something maybe he likes Anthony Robbins seminars and you want to promote some self-improvement book and as um, as always I don't know how to spell Anthony Robbins okay Anthony Robbins foundation 500,000 people and Anthony Robbins ultimate edge that's his product almost 3,000 people that you can target so whatever let's just choose that for this example purposes and then there are behaviors what behaviors is is different types of stuff that people have identified in their profiles that you can use to target them console gamers well 60 million people on there if you're promoting a game that's definitely going to help you uh, now mobile device users again if you're promoting stuff related to mobile and the most interesting stuff that I want to show you is the online spenders and it keeps jumping here okay online sp sorry about that here online spenders there are three types of online spenders the general online spenders the active spenders and engaged spenders as you can see there is less um, at the top and more of the general ones the general ones are sometime in uh, have spent money using Facebook or whatever type of tracking Facebook has done and they know that they spent money 
active spenders are uh, that people bought something on the internet uh, 30 days ago in the period of 30 days and engaged spenders are that they bought something in three month period and it was more than one hundred dollars so this can definitely help you to find those buyers for your products then connections and this is based on your fan page and you can include people who are connected to some sort of page or not and these are options uh, you can use and the last part is campaign pricing now here you can set the ad set name or what not then the most important thing is the budget so you can set it up either lifetime budget which I don't really recommend I recommend to just choose per day budget and set it even as low as one dollar and you can do a scheduling of a campaign either run it continuously or set the dates you want to promote it if it's time sensitive promotion next there is bidding optimize for clicks or optimize for impressions that's up to you what you want to use or you can use what it is optimized for impressions that means you will spend a specific amount for 1000 impressions to your audience that you have selected right here and optimize for clicks is you will get you either going to be out either Facebook is going to optimize your clicks or you just can manually choose how much you want to pay per per click so this is it once you're done you click place order Facebook will going to review your ad and if everything is okay you're going to start your ad so this is it for this video if you would like more to learn more about Facebook advertising click the link in the description of this video sign up to my email newsletter and I will show you my whole strategy that I use for Facebook ads to generate clicks as low as six cents you can definitely bet that you're going to do a good promotion with traffic cheap like that so this is it and see you in the next video.